in the church and he finds a dead body. Not his wife. It is a beautiful young girl. She is laid out on the pews. Patricia Ann and sister go in to help Luke. They find him unconscious. This story just gets weirder and weirder as you go. Come to find out, Holden Crawford is a snake handler. His church is a snake handling church. There is no sight of Virginia. She has disappeared. Now Luke says that As he was in the church, he saw Virginia, but then someone hit him over the head. Now he thinks Virginia is dead. The two girls refuse to believe that. Well, they meet other characters. There's a bunch of them. Well, the story revolves around the search for Virginia. They find Holden Crawford. He is dead in the car that belonged to Virginia. He has been bitten over a hundred times by a rattlesnake. The story, it's very, very funny. It's very well written. And George was such a master at creating this aura of southern hospitality, but southern evil too. It was such a joy to go back and read her books. I have missed these girls a lot. If you get a chance to read these, you will not be sorry. They are funny, they are heart-wrenching, and they are loving. Unfortunately, Anne is no longer with us. She passed away back in 2001. She was a wonderful author. Her cozy series had eight books in it. Every book is a joy. She was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize in 1993. She received the Agatha Award for her Southern Sister Mystery Series. Still is. Dearly, dearly missed. Well, I hope you enjoyed those small little book reports about the three cozy books. We enjoyed a nice respite from the gruesome crime. Also, it was a nice break from what's going on in the world right now. And these are great beach reads, so definitely check all three of them out. And we'll do this periodically and let you know what we're reading. Let us know what you think of this episode since it's a new venture for us. We'd like to get some feedback. You can email us at darkandstormybookclub at gmail.com with any comments or if you'd like to suggest a book for us to read. Next up, we have our new and noteworthy books. I'm going to start things off with Mandatory Murder by Stephen Schubert, put out by ABC Books on June 16th. Mandatory Murder is the compelling true story of a murder in an outback town in 21st century Australia and the extraordinary aftermath. Next up is The Persuasion. It is number 26 in the Eve Duncan Mystery Series by Iris Johansson. It is published by Grand Central Books and it came out on June 2nd. When Eve Duncan's daughter, Jane McGuire, becomes a killer's target, Jane must team up with longtime love interest Seth Caleb in this thrilling novel. The book I have is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. A young woman returns to the house made famous by her father's best-selling horror memoir. What secrets are hidden behind its walls? It was published by Penguin Group and comes out on June 30th. Trivia! Last week's question was, which famous mystery author was awarded the U.S. Medal of Freedom in 2007. A. Harper Lee. B. Raymond Chandler. C. Mary Roberts Reinhardt. Or D. Dorothy L. Sayers. And the answer is A. Harper Lee. This week's question is, Mary Roberts Reinhardt was known as the American Agatha Christie. What one fact makes that an incorrect statement. A. She wrote her books before Agatha Christie. B. She wrote more books than Agatha Christie did. C. She had her own Belgian detective. Or D. She wrote plays. 
Good luck. The nominees for the Anthony Awards have been announced, and we want to let you know what they are. BoucherCon, the World Mystery Convention, announced the nominees for its prestigious Anthony Awards. For Best Novel, Your House Will Pay by Steph Cha, put out by Echo. They All Fall Down by Rachel Halzel Hall, put out by Forge. Lady in the Lake by Laura Lipman, put out by William Morrow. The Murder List by Hank Philippi Ryan, put out by Forge. And Miami Midnight by Alex Segura, put out by Polis Books. Best First Novel, The Ninja Daughter by Tori Eldridge, by Agora Books. Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, Sarah Crichton Books. One Night Gone by Tara Laskowski, Braden House. Three Fifths by John Vercher, Agora Books. American Spy by Lauren Wilkinson, Random House. Best Paperback Original, The Unrepentant by E.A. Amar, by Down and Out Books. Murder Knocks Twice by Susanna Calkins by Minotaur. The Pearl Dagger by L.A. Chandler by Kensington Books. Scott and Soda by Catriona McPherson, put out by Midnight Inc. The Alchemist's Illusion by Gigi Pandian, put out by Midnight Inc. Drowned Under by Wendell Thomas by Poison Pen Press. The Naming Game by Gabriel Valjean, put out by Winter Goose Press. Best Critical Nonfiction Work, Hitchcock and the Censors by John Bilheimer. The Hooded Gunman, an Illustrated History of the Collins Crime Club by John Curran. The Mutual Admiration Society, How Dorothy L. Sayers and Her Oxford Circle Remade the World for Women by Mo Moulton put out by Basic Books, The Trial of Lizzie Borden, A True Story by Kara Robertson, Simon & Schuster, The Five, The Untold Story of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper by Haley Rubenhold, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Best Short Story, Turistas by Hector Acosta, appearing in Paque Tu Los Sepas, Stories to Benefit the People of Puerto Rico. Unforgiven by Hilary Davidson, appearing in Murder a Go-Go's, crime fiction inspired by the music of the Go-Go's. The Red Zone by Alex Agora, appearing in Paque Tu Los Sepas, Stories to Benefit the People of Puerto Rico. Better Days by Art Taylor, appearing in Ellery Queen Magazine, May, June 2019. Hard Return, also by Art Taylor, appearing in Crime Travel. Best Anthology or Collection, The Eyes of Texas, Private Eyes from the Panhandle to the Piney Woods, edited by Michael Bracken, Down and Out Books. Paque to la Sepos, Stories to Benefit the People of Puerto Rico, edited by Angel Luis Colon, Down and Out Books. Crime Travel, edited by Barbara Goffman, Wide Side Press. Malice Domestic 14, Mystery Most Edible, edited by Verena Rose, Rita Owen, and Sean Riley Simmons, Wild Side Press. Murder a Go-Go's, crime fiction inspired by the music of the Go-Go's, edited by Holly West, Down and Out Books. Best Young Adult, Seven Ways to Get Rid of Harry, by Jen Conley, Down and Out Books. Catfishing on Catnet, by Naomi Kritzer, Tour Teen. Killing November by Adriana Mather, by Not Books for Young Readers. Patron Saints of Nothing by Randy Ribe, by Tokila Books. The Deceivers by Kristen Simmons, by Tour Teen. Wild and Crooked by Leah Thomas, by Bloomsbury Young Adult. Well, good luck to all the nominees, and we have been very fortunate that we've interviewed quite a collection of these, and if anything, I see quite a few that I can't wait to read myself. Absolutely. Congratulations to Art Taylor, especially for having two nominations for his short stories, and good luck to him. I hope everyone has enjoyed this different type of episode we've offered. You can visit our website at darkstormybc.com, where you can find links to all of our episodes and check all of them out. You can also sign up for our newsletter there. We offer a newsletter where we will not spam you, we promise, once a month. And you can also find links to our social media. And you can also hit the Patreon button. And we appreciate any and all contributions and any and all suggestions. 
So please get in touch with us. Just to let you know that as of next month, we will finally have our bonus content for our patrons. We wanted to put out something special just for them. Starting next month, once a month, they're going to get a bonus episode of all this wonderfulness. Who could ask for anything more? (laughs) Until next week, remember, life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye. Bye.